What's up, guys? This is Drew from Borrow Lenses here in Las Vegas, where we're bringing you the best of NAB 2017. Day one is in the books, and we got a lot to cover. So let's jump right in and talk about the gear that has us excited and we think you're going to love. So we got to start with Red, who dropped the absolute bombshell of respectfully declining the invitation. Yep. Red not attending this year, so instead they'll make their plans known at Cinegear LA. We still saw plenty of Reds prominently on display from vendors who were actually in attendance, like DJI. They announced the all new Ronin 2, which can now support larger payloads up to 30 pounds at speeds of up to 70 miles per hour. The stabilizer got quite the facelift with a new carbon fiber build, fold away feet, hot swappable batteries, a back screen for fine tuning adjustments, and a completely overhauled DJI Assistant app. The R2 also makes a serious case for Steadicam operators with a brand new two axis mode. Not to be outdone in the steady race for stabilization dominance, Freefly released the all new Movi XL. At 25 pounds, it's a larger version of the Movi Pro, which can sustain payloads up to 50 pounds at speeds up to 100 miles an hour, making it the perfect go-to for any action sequence shot on a moving vehicle or an incredibly fast gimbal operator. Freefly also unveiled the Pilot, an add-on to the Mimic that allows you to control focus, iris, and zoom when connected to a Movi Pro or Movi XL, thus eliminating the need for multiple transmitter receiver platforms. Switching over to lenses, Zeiss announced the all new CP3 Cine Primes. Now, unlike some other manufacturers, these aren't just still lenses dressed up in a Cine housing. Zeiss rebuilt these lenses from the ground up, drawing inspiration from RE Master Primes with ultra smooth focus rotation in mind. With consistent size and weight across most focal lengths, they're smaller and lighter than their predecessors, making them ideal for gimbal and drone work. Sticking with lenses, Canon continues its quest to bring affordable cinema zooms to the masses with its all new 70-200 compact servo. The lens offers what very few cine zooms can with image stabilization built in. In conjunction with the CNE 18 to 80, filmmakers now have a complete compact servo kit for run and gun shooting. Riding high off of the release of the GH5, Panasonic continued their momentum by delivering the biggest camera announcement of the day. What made this feat even more impressive? They didn't announce anything. Quite literally shrouded in mystery, we know very few things about the camera, but we do know that it will fall somewhere in between the GH5 and the Vericam LT. We do know the new camera will utilize low cost media and deliver cinema quality images in a lightweight body. So are we looking at a Vericam Mini, an update to the AF100? The fact is, we just don't know. So in the meantime, we'll continue to wildly speculate until it's actually released at Cinegear. Over at GoPro's booth, they announced the all-new Fusion camera, which will deliver 360-degree footage at 5.6K resolution. So with this huge announcement, GoPro made the bold move of leaving the camera at home. Unfortunately, GoPro is being pretty tight-lipped about the details and release date of the Fusion, so we're just going to have to wait and see. Over at Sony, they showed their hand early, announcing the all-new A9 a week before NAB. The camera was on the floor day one with its newly developed sensor and a readout five times faster than the A7. Right now, the A9's definitely geared more towards photographers, but we're wondering if it's going to go the same route as the A7, offering a more video-centric S model at some point in time. We also saw some awesome wireless transmitter options that allow you to view on mobile devices. Teradek with their Serve and Serve Plus, and the newcomer Freecast with their wireless universal system. So that's it. Everything you need to know about NAB 2017. Vegas, it's been awesome, but now it's time to head back to... What? Yeah, no, uh, yeah. 
I know. We'll, yeah, there's more to come from NAB, which I knew about. So we'll be coming at you all week uh, with new gear updates and everything that we find great. I wish I packed more than this shirt. At least it's black. All right, so guys, stay tuned. In the meantime, if you want to get your hands on some gear, go to borrowlenses.com for all your rental needs. And we'll be back at you with more from NAB 2017, which I knew about.